Well, what a week. The national conference is held on the weekend and it's fair to say the governing party is in good spirits. If Lila Hare, Honi Harawira, Pam Corkery, Kim.com, Russell Norman, Materia Toure, David Cunliffe, Matt McCartan and John Minto are the answer, can we please have another look at the question? It's great timing too, with this being among the most popular items of merch on offer. I'm a key girl anyway. I am a team keyer. Not everyone's quite as much of a team player as these guys. This auction of an unwanted gift attracts hundreds of comments on Trade Me. Also going crazy on the Trade Me's the Dunedin Mayor, forking out thousands of ratepayers' dollars for shackles that were meant for camels, not Maori prisoners, as was claimed. We'll give him the shackles back, he can give us the money. Or maybe you could just swap them for some magic beans. Meanwhile, Labour's hoping its auction reaches reserve this week after another poll has them in the 20s. David Cunliffe sees the bright side, at least they're not dropping further. The poll's hardly moved and, and we're not too concerned about it. Overseas, Ron Paris is found guilty, Rebecca Brooks is found not guilty, while this Malaysian diplomat avoids being found either by fleeing New Zealand after being accused of sexual assault. It's a proud week for sports fans. One soccer star gets sent to the naughty chair for doing a boo-boo on another player, while a league star needs to spend more time on toilet training although he's clearly been practising. The boys have seen me muck around doing it before. I didn't. And finally, oddly appearing like he hasn't aged or changed his clothes since the 1990s, this cricket star comes clean. My name is Lou Vincent and I am a cheat.